All right, uh, so let's uh, continue on with compositional functions. So let f of x equal 9x minus 2 and g of x equal negative x plus 3. Find f of g of x. Okay, um, so how the compositional functions work, and I'll describe it in more detail now, is let's say that this is the domain of f. Uh, okay, or domain of g. So the g function will link it to a ra its own range, right? So this is the range of g of x. But what happens is that the range of g of x becomes the domain of f of x. Okay, and in most cases, the entire range of g of x becomes the entire domain of f of x. And what happens is that f of x, or the function f, connects it the range of g of x to a new set of values, and this becomes the range of f. Okay? So that's how a compositional function works. Um, so this middle ground is, uh, is the domain of f of x and also the range of g of x. So how we find the compositional function when they give us this, so f of x equals to 9x minus 2, and g of x is equal to negative x plus 3. Okay, um, so the function within the brackets is going to be the first function that we use, okay? And because of that, we're going to plug this function into our f of x function. So f of g of x can be also be written as 9 times g of x minus 2. Okay, so we're going to plug, we're going to substitute all values of x with g of x, okay? So if we were to plug it in, we get 9 times negative x plus 3 minus 2, and we get negative 9x plus 27 minus 2, and we get negative 9x plus 25, okay? So because the range of g of x becomes the domain of f of x, then the entire g of x function is plugged into our independent variable for f of x, okay? So if it was the other way around, for example, if we had g of f of x, then we would write negative f of x plus 3, or uh, 9x minus 2 with a minus sign plus 3, and we would get negative 9x plus 2 plus 5, right? So these are the two compositional functions, and it matters which function uh, is inside the brackets, okay? So other than that, the solution is correct.